Hello everyone, Clemmy back again. I just want to share with you guys a very um, cheap and a very easy way to dye um, your fabrics, your lace, your seam binding, cheesecloth, um, even doilies. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the different colors that I've got. This is um, a color that I've made up and this is some lace as you can see. Um, some doilies that I got from Donna Little cheesecloth. Um, this came from I don't know, it's probably polyester or something. Um, up under uh, the wedding dress that I purchased off of um, Wish for really cheap. And this is that beautiful um, lace that I uh, got at Walmart. I love the lace, but for the price, I really you really don't get a bunch. Um, but I will go and purchase some more because I like it. And to get the two-tone look here versus just a straight color, um, I only dyed, say, three-fourths of it, left the other plain, and then this wasn't very dry. I mean, very wet. It was kind of dry. And I simply squeezed it together like this. And that's how you get the two tones. You can also go in here and color um, the pieces that didn't get dyed a different color and that will give you another color as well. So I did those fabrics. Then I did some um, 24 or 26 pound um, copy paper. Now the la the journal that I did for Jane, um, I did some blue papers, um, but I used food coloring to dye those pages. And this is heavy cardstock. So you can dye your pages. Because, um, you know, I see a lot of people using um, avocado skins, um, onion skins, and different stuff like that, and, and beets and all of that. And that is uh, a lovely idea, especially, like, with the onion skins and stuff where you're reusing things. But um, this is another alternative that I believe is a lot simpler than um, the uh, avocado dyes and different stuff like that. So there's um, that color. This is um, like a peacock color. Well, that's the name of it. It's peacock, and you can tell that it's the difference in it. And there's um, the heavy cardstock. Get these out of the way. And this is a blue that I just did. Um, for the fabric journal, I painted it um, or washed it this color. And there's that. Love that color. And love that lace. Now, didn't feel like going to get another um, paper plate. But this is like a lilac. Yes, I'm all um, stained up. And that is the way that it looks on the lace. And it's very light, but um, that's it on the paper. Now let's get this out of the way. So, all you have to have is a paper cup, some water. I'm using bottled water, but actually um, tap water will be fine and warm would be even better to help the um, paints dissolve easily. So this is how it's so cheap, you guys. These paints right here that you get at Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, you can probably even get them at a Family Dollar or something like that. I use this, and you use so much compared to um, what's in the bottle that it's extremely cheap to do so much with. Um, I think the most I paid was like 167, but most of these are like 75 cents, um, 50 cents in some cases. Um, this one was on sale. I got that last year for 250, and that is probably I probably have about 20 more bottles of this stuff, guys. So you can either go this way, the way I'm going to show you, or And these are the ones that I purchased at Tuesday morning on sale, okay? 
$9.99. And I just purchased um, some uh, earlier today uh, at Hobby Lobby that were like $1.24 a piece. But I know when I bought, and I have a big tub of these things that I purchased a um, few years ago when they were um, full price. You couldn't even find them at this cheap of a price. Okay, so you can go this way or you can simply simply go to Walmart and purchase some of these paints a Hobby Lobby wherever you're going to get them take your cup make sure that you can see okay I'm going to use and this is an, another reason why I have um quite a few because they're different colors but they're I mean they're same color but slightly different this one's a little bit lighter and you can achieve that by simply adding white we all know that white to that and um or burnt umber to this one but anyway so i'm going to use this one all you have to do is a in the bottom of your cup pour about you don't even have to do that much you can do that much but since i'm going to do some other things i'm going to give it a little more that's it can you see that that's all you need Add water and I'm gonna go to that fill line it's a line in this uh, paper cup that goes about halfway now this is where the warm water comes in at I'm just going to mix that up I believe this is a uh, fire brick red and this one is Tuscan red Now, what I have been doing is mixing different colors to achieve, um, you know, different colors as well. But we're going to just do a straight color in this instance. So just make sure that you have it all mixed up and I test it on the side. Okay, and that's, is, that's mixed well. Because if not, you would have uh, strong, like, red streaks in that. So the first thing I'm going to do is simply take whatever you you want to uh, dye and insert it in the cup and that's why my hands look like this and then I'm going to wring it out and I still have some red spots Let's dip it back in and try and keep all of that in the cup and I should have brought another paper cup I mean a paper plate that's your first piece now I'm going to show you with the doily that I got from down a little beautiful doily I'm going to dump that in and while I'm doing that let me show you this one this is a two-tone doily okay so if I wanted to do that just dump I mean dip one side and then you can either I like leaving it like that if you want to do like a red white you can also since uh you guys is um fourth of july is coming up you can do like red white and then on the tip over there add in um, a blue and that would be a nice idea but i'm going to dip it all and then just wring it out okay And then I have some seam binding. So I'm going to take, just scrunch it up and dip it in there. Now I'm going to wring the bottom part off a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to fold it over and squeeze squeeze and this way you can help you help um the part that's not dyed soak up um from the other part that you just squeezed what else do i have to dye and this is that material material you guys can see that it takes very nicely but just want to show you guys 
how to do that. Simple and extremely cheap. This lace. Now what um, I do to get all of the excess, because sometimes um, this lace like this is um, very hard to wring out. I'll take a piece of fabric, place it inside and then squeeze. And then you get all that excess liquid off. Okay, beautiful. Love the way that that's turning out. Now, if you want to do um, a couple of pages, simply go from here like I did to show you guys and just brush it on the paper, like so. Make sure you can see that. I'll just take it and brush it on. Simple as that. Now, if you wanna make up a big batch, make up you enough and then lay it into your pan and then dip your, like you would do your coffee dye paper and dip your whole um, sheet of paper into um, the liquid that you poured in the pan, which is what I did with the um, the Winter Wonderland journal that I did for Jane. Okay, so I have all of this excess. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six cups now of this stuff. So the way that I'm storing it is, here I'm taking old water bottles and you see how they all you would have to do is shake that up so the excess and the leftovers I'm gonna put in an empty um, water bottle now um, spritz and sprays right okay I have not tried this yet but I'm extremely positive and sure that this is going to work so when you're done with these, I hope you guys are crafty. You save all of your um <clears throat> all of these empty bottles, okay? All of these empty spray bottles. So if you have any of these empty ones or just go buy some at Walmart. They have um little makeup things. This is what I use to coffee dye. I mean to add shimmer to my coffee. You get these at the Dollar Tree and they're they're only a dollar, okay? All you have to do, open them up. Sprinkle some of that in your little concoction. Um, maybe add some alcohol. You can even use that with alcohol if you want so that it could dry faster. And then put it in your little spray jar. And now you have um, shimmer spray. Now you have shimmer spray. Extremely cheaply, extremely cheaply, extremely cheap in an array of colors, guys. So hope you guys um, use some of this. Hope you like the video. Um, have you, everyone have a lovely night, evening, or day, wherever you are.